Hello, it's Martine here. In this short video, I am going to walk you through my pro Todoist setup. Let's get started. We'll look on the left hand side, first of all, at the sidebar. Now there's nothing in inbox or today or upcoming at the moment, but I, I just want to point out that these are areas I use on a daily basis. So for example, in today, when I start my day with my morning routine, I have a look at all the tasks that are here in today and I do my prioritization. So I prioritize on a daily basis using the P1, P2, P3 flags built into Todoist. I will show you how I do that in just a moment. But so you're aware today is somewhere I spend a lot of time. I also have some filters set up to separate business, personal and work tasks. This is a really important feature of my setup. I clearly segregate my areas, my projects, my tasks into three different life zones. You might not have three life zones, and if that is the case, then that's absolutely fine. You can just work with the life zones that you have. But for me, I'm in the slightly unusual situation of being employed, self-employed, and also having a personal life, which isn't that unusual, but you know what I mean. So that, <laughs> that means I have three life zones. Other people might have a day job, personal life, and some sort of side business, so they could have a very similar setup to me. But if you say have personal and work, you just have two life zones, absolutely fine you can delete the business life zone but I want to give you the kind of full experience and I'm going to zoom in on business in particular just as an example but know that the other life zones are set up in exactly the same way so I have some filters here which are favorited just here on the left so you can spend time focusing on either just your business tasks just your personal tasks or just your work tasks because you don't want to be context switching between all three all the time because you lose focus and it makes you less productive it can also be really stressful so I use these filters quite a bit and I just want to point out I've color coded them gray is business green is personal pink is work and this is mirrored down here under projects too obviously you can change those colors to suit your preference okay so those are the filters let's zoom in on projects as I said I'm going to use business as an example uh, know that personal and work are set up in exactly the same way so at this top level I have tasks that relate to areas of my business. And then if I expand business underneath, you will see I have space for individual projects. To understand this particular part of the setup, I need to distinguish between areas and projects for you. And then also I'll explain what a project backlog is in a second. So let's start with areas. According to Tiago Forte's para method, this is the P and the A of para, by the way, areas are long-term responsibilities you want to manage over time. In other words, they're, they're broad areas. They don't have a final deadline in the way that a project would. And I've got a link to an article here that can help you read a bit more about para if you are interested. So an area in my business might be content. So for example, creating things for my blog and my podcast, business finances, subscriptions. This is a great place to put those little reminders if you've got an annual subscription, just to say, oh, do I want to renew? So I put a little task in here for a week before renewal. Planning, so I'll put my quarterly plan reminder tasks in there. Professional development and business development. So if we open up content, if you want to add a task, you would just pop it under this little section. Now you don't have to use the same sections as me. If you want to add a brand new section, it's really easy to do that. You would just do that here. Um, so that is how I separate out my areas and the tasks would go underneath the areas. And I would do the same for personal and work. Clearly personal and work would have different areas. If I take the example of personal, you might have personal finances, health and fitness, a house, pets, that sort of thing. So those are my area, area sections in business. And there's a couple of other notes I just want to mention to you while we're in this particular section. You can delete these, by the way, once you've read them. So quick note on prioritization. This goes across tasks that are under areas and tasks that are under projects. I recommend inputting your tasks. So when they enter your system, your Todoist as P4. So these are the priority flags here. So you enter your tasks with no priority and you put the date where you think you're going to do the work here, your start date. 
And then when you do your morning routine and you look at the today section of your to doist, you then allocate your priority flags at that point because priorities change on a daily basis. And I believe that is the best way to manage your day. There's a good article here on prioritizing tasks. I mentioned due dates just then. I'll just open this up to explain that to you in a bit more detail. So dates are a bit confusing sometimes. And when you input a task into your to-do list, you'll know the deadline for that task. But I don't put the deadline here under due date. I put it here under description. And the due date is the time or rather the date that I'm actually going to start the work. In other words, the due date, D-O. So I've explained that here for you. And there's a little link to an article that will give you a bit more detail on this. So those are a couple of ways that I manage my workload in Todoist. So we know what areas are, we understand how to prioritize and where to do that, and we understand the difference between due dates and due dates. Now let's talk about projects. So I have three imaginary projects down here. One, two, three, and they're organized as a list. You can, of course, section up your projects, which is really handy just by adding a section like that. What is a project? Well, According to Tiago Forte's Para Method, projects are short-term efforts in your work or life that you're working on right now. So these are things with a deadline. So for me and my business, it could be a client project and it will have a very clear title. I tend to start my projects with a verb, a doing word, just so it's really clear what the project is. Again, there's that link to the Para Method information there. So projects go under here. Now, in the para method, Tiago Forte states that it's okay to have about 15 projects on the go across all of your life zones. That's quite a lot in my book. Um, so I try to go more on the slow productivity side of things, which is Cal Newport's philosophy, where you're doing fewer things, working at a natural, natural pace and obsessing over quality. So I try to do fewer projects and really sort of zoom in on them and focus on them when I can. When I know I've got a project coming up, but I haven't started it yet, so it's not a project in progress, I'll just pop it in my project backlog here. So these are tasks or projects in this particular context where you're not working on it at the moment and you just set yourself a little reminder in the backlog. So I would put, you know, set up new client project one, two, three, uh, when I'm ready. So that, that is what I would pop in the backlog there. It's a little reminder to set up the project here when I'm ready to go. So to set up a project just underneath business, I would go add project below project for same color and actually I'd probably just move it just here and that is how I would set up an additional project so I'll just close that up and I would set up personal and work exactly the same so if we look at personal um, remembering that the uh, your areas are at this top level so you could add a section for health and fitness and all of your health and fitness tasks would go under there and if you have got a uh, project that is personal so it might be uh, renovate bathroom go there oops where's that gone there it is so that could go just underneath there i'll just delete that one you'll see we've got project one backlog there as an example. All right, that is how I will I would use this pro setup to manage my business, personal and work projects and areas. I hope you find this helpful. I hope it helps you manage your different life zones, avoid context switching, prioritize your well-being and get more done. Thank you for watching.